Hello, and welcome to Heathrow Airport. Hi, it's Craig. Welcome back to Craig's Life. Okay, I'm not actually at Heathrow Airport. I'm at a hotel, but it's very close to Heathrow Airport. This is the Thistle Hotel at Terminal 5 at Heathrow Airport. I am here for a night. I'm going away tomorrow to visit my family in California, which I can't wait. But I thought I would let you have a look at the hotel that I'm staying in tonight. Today is the 13th of November 2023 and there's a lot of choice of hotels in and around Heathrow and you've got to consider when you live in Sheffield and you're 150 miles away or whatever where are you going to stay how are you going to get here are you going to drive are you going to get a driver are you going to get the train where are you going to put your car all these sorts of things need to be taken into consideration so let's have a look at this hotel and see what we think Okay, here's the view we see as soon as we enter. First thing you'll notice is it's a very small room, but if I look immediately to the right, we have got a couple of bottles of Harrogate spring water, one still, one sparkling. We've got a good selection of tea and coffee and some shortbread here and some nice sized mugs. Underneath there, I've just shoved my cases just out of the way and we'll have a look just as we're going that way first straight into the wardrobe which we can see we've got a bit of hanging space an ironing board there is the iron if we look back up the other way a couple of spare towels and a nice big safe the thing is with these hotels with there being airport hotels is you're generally only going to stay in them for a night now, if we have a little look at the room, you can see just how small it is. But I'm pretty sure that this is an executive room. I cannot be 100% sure. This is not what I booked. I just booked a standard room, but I'm pretty sure that this is an executive room. If we look back over here, you'll notice we have an espresso coffee maker with some Nespresso cups and a nice little selection of Nespresso coffees. This one here being the decaf. Um, we've got Nespresso machines at home, so I'm familiar with those. Got a nice big mirror here, a decent size television, and we have air conditioning. There is only one chair in here, but we've already said this is a small room. If we just turn and have a look the other way, we've got a king size bed. If I just lower this down slightly, you can see it is actually two beds together. And the first thing I have noticed is that there are no power sockets next to the bed, but I do have my extension lead with me. And if we just turn back the way we came, we can then go into the bathroom, which again is small and towels there and it is a curtain rather than a screen those of you who will know me know I'm not a fan of curtains but I would say that's pretty clean sink and toilet so basically not a lot of room but I'm sure there's a lot of people at home don't have bathrooms that are very much bigger than that so it's perfectly functional the view as you can see is out of the window but as you can see we've got a glazing there and if you can just hear that, you can hear a plane there. So it is actually, by the looks of it, triple glazed. So you get very little, if any, aircraft noise. Hello. My shoulder behind me is Terminal 5, it's the main terminal building there and uh, yeah, I'll turn it around in a second you can see the planes so if you're a bit of a geek like me 
you can have a look at flight radar 24 and see what some of the planes are. So it's draining a little bit, I'm going to go back in in a minute, I just wanted to show you the runway view. So there's one taking off from the south runway there, this is the north runway here. Yeah. You can just see over there behind that tree, that is an Airbus A3. Okay, so we've seen a little bit of the room, we've had a little look at some of the things here in the hotel. With this hotel, there's a few things you need um, you need to think about. First of all, it is an old hotel. You walk down, things look a little bit bashed and beaten, a few threadbare carpets here and there. It was probably built in the 60s. It's got quite low ceilings as you walk down the corridors from the rooms and if you're tall you do run the risk of banging your head onto the emergency exit signs but you've seen there is a very nice bar uh, I will be eating here later you've got a runway view and I don't know whether you just heard that that was a plane going over because we are spitting distance from the north runway here at Heathrow and at certain times of the day they take off from the south runway and other times of the day they switch and then they take off from the north runway and then they land on the south runway so i'm pretty sure at this time of day now they're taking off from the north runway but that little bit of noise that you just heard that's it you can't hear it so because it's soundproof you need to be so it's soundproof so you may hear a dull rumble but it's not as though you're going to be kept awake with it outside boy is it loud it is very loud but here in the rooms it's nice and soundproof so we do have um some drawbacks with the hotel but there's a lot of things that this hotel has got going for it i would say that if heathrow ever does get its third runway this is going to be in the firing line for being demolished is that the end of the world well maybe not but this scores in a number of different ways first value i've paid 129 pounds 50 for this room now, some of you are thinking, it's a bit lot, but it's London prices. Hang on a minute. That includes 15 nights parking here on site. 15 nights parking alone without a hotel could cost you starting prices at around £180. I booked this direct with Thistle. I did have an account with Thistle that I forgot all about. But I booked it and I suddenly thought, hmm, did I have an account? And I did get a discount. I believe the discount was either 10 or 15%. I cannot remember exactly. Plus, I'm pretty sure that they have upgraded me to an executive room. Thank you very much to Sergey on reception here at the Thistle Terminal 5 for upgrading me. The other thing about this airport is the plane just going over. That's obviously a bigger one. Uh, they don't go all the way through the night, don't worry. The other thing with this airport you need to think about is how do you get to the to the airport itself you can get the buses you can get a taxi buses i've read some reports that sometimes they're a little bit unreliable they don't turn up they don't turn up on time they do turn up on the full and you can't get on so i i wanted to avoid that the last time myself and daniel went to california we stayed at a holiday Inn express a bit further away and we got a taxi it was 20 pounds from the hotel to the airport and 30 pounds back from the airport now i actually contacted transport for london about this and they came back to me and said, here they are outside of the jurisdiction of TfL, so the taxi drivers can basically charge what they want. So they don't go by the meter because they don't want to be taking people to hotels. They want to take people into the centre of London. That's where they make the money. So be aware if you do get a taxi. But then again, if there's four of you and the bus is a fiver each or a tenner each, is it going to be just as easy getting a taxi? Well, you can decide on that one. The other thing that makes this particular one really attractive is you can get the pod. Right next door is a big Terminal 5 car park. In that car park, you can use the pod, which are the little electric cars which take you to the terminal in about five minutes or so. From here, it is £7 return. Sorry, £7 each way. And they would give you a little um, piece of paper with a key code. So basically you walk out of the reception, you follow the path, you go to the gate, you key in the key code, you go through the gate to the pod and it's the same coming back. It takes you straight to Terminal 5. If you want to be at other terminals, then of course you can get the Underground or the Elizabeth Line which transfers you between terminals free of charge. 
So for me, because I'm going out of Terminal 5, this is the winner for me. The convenience, I can just walk through, get on the pod. My car is already here when I come back. Just get my parking ticket validated at reception and I am away. So for me, yes, this may be a dated looking hotel, but I've got the convenience. And the convenience, when you're traveling, as far as I'm concerned, is a huge plus. Two questions now remain. One, would I stay here again? Let's put it this way. This is the third time I've stayed here. Okay, that's probably why they gave me the upgrade. And I'm pretty sure, I couldn't quite tell from his accent, that Sergey actually did give me complimentary pod travel. Because I don't think I saw that total on the amount when I keyed in my PIN number. So I think he's given me the pod transfers free because I'm a returning guest. You're not always going to get that. Um, as far as the score... It's a dated hotel. It's got everything we need. It's a half score for this one. It's three and a half. As far as a hotel goes, yes, it's fine. It's okay. This will do. It's got what I need. It's a nice room. It's a nice bar. It's got the runway uh, view if you're a bit like me uh, and a bit geeky and you like watching planes. That convenience of getting on the pod for me is a huge winner for this hotel. And if this hotel does get demolished, to make way for the third runway for Heathrow, which is still going to be a long way off. Unfortunately, I think the pod's going to go with it because this is the area where that third runway is going to be. So um, let's take advantage of it while we can. So there we are. This is the Thistle Hotel at Terminal 5 Heathrow Airport in London. I hope you've enjoyed this review. I am going to enjoy my holiday. Until the next time, look forward to seeing you again right here on Craig's Life. Bye.